Hello. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create your own visual timer in Microsoft PowerPoint, such as the progress bar you see on the screen now, which can time anything from one minute to half an hour. So to begin with, I've got a brand new presentation here, and I'm going to put the, the uh, slider actually on this title slide here. I'm going to get rid of the subtitle box, and I'm going to use the main title box to write in how long students will have. So let's say this is going to be a 10 minute timer. Now the next thing to do is to create a rectangle. So I'm going to go into insert and then shapes and use the rectangle tool. And this is going to be the outside of my progress bar. So there's going to actually be two of these rectangles. One is the outside border and the other is the color inside. So for this one, I'm going to choose no fill at all, but I'm going to choose a black bar around the outside. And I'm going to change the thickness or weight of that black bar to uh, full six point. I think there will do fine. Now, once I've done that, the next thing to do is to copy that and then paste a copy of that rectangle. So I've now got two of them. Uh, this time I'm going to choose the fill color. This will be the color of the actual bar itself as it fills up. But I don't need to have any outline for this particular bar. So now I drag that bar back down and I snap it inside the first one and I can actually send it to the back as well so that the thick line is nicely around the outside. The next thing to do is to add an animation and this animation is added to the colored bar. So I click on this yellow colored bar and I come up to the top where we have the animations toolbar. So I click on the animations tab and we're going to be adding an animation and the animation we're adding is a wipe which is in the entrance section. So I'm going to click on wipe and I'm going to click on this little button to the left of the add animation button which is the effect options and I'm going to click the from left so that the wipe occurs from the left hand side. Now you can see there very quickly the demonstration that the colored bar is filling up the background. The problem is it's happening too quickly. So how can we customize that? Well, you'll notice that there is a duration box up here. But if you click on that duration box, you'll find that the maximum you can go up to is about a minute. Here I've got up to 27 seconds, 30 seconds, 40 seconds. 50 seconds and then when we get to 59 seconds it stops and it doesn't matter whether you push that button up whether you click and type in there doesn't matter what you do you're not going to get it to go beyond 59 seconds so what's the solution well the solution is to open up the animation pane by clicking this button here and you'll see for this rectangle the green bar which shows the start and finish points of our animation. Now if we click or put the mouse on the end of that green bar, so that's the finish point, which at this point we can see is five seconds, I can actually click and hold the mouse button down as I drag that to the right. And as I keep dragging it to the right, so I'm now keeping my mouse button held down and I'm just pushing my mouse to the right hand side, you can see that that extends the period of time that we're actually able to keep this animation running. And if I just sit there, we can increase that to five minutes, six minutes. You can see the little counter timing up there. We're up to seven minutes. 8 minutes, 9, and then it doesn't matter if we go slightly over, it's like at the petrol pump where you just slightly miss it, but there we are, we can just sort of bounce that backwards and forwards, and you can see that timer showing me 
um, to a tenth of a second exactly where we are. So there we are, that is there exactly 10 minutes 0, 0.0 seconds. So I can let go there and I'm going to change this so that instead of having to click to begin it starts timing as soon as the slide loads. Then that's it, that's it, that's all I need to do. Um, so I have now my animation lasting 10 minutes, it's set up as wipe so if I play this slide, it will immediately begin timing. Now, I'm not going to sit here and waste the next 10 minutes of your time showing that animation appearing. It might, depending on the quality of your screen, you might be able to see a very slight yellowish-green glow happening from the left-hand side. And that is the beginning of that bar filling it up. For the moment though, just so that we can see the effect, I'm going to just change the timing manually back to three seconds and I'm going to manually change that to about 30 seconds. Now obviously I know that we could quite easily type 30 seconds in, but it just shows proof of concept at least. So if I press, uh, press play, straight away you can see that yellow bar filling up and that can be adapted from anything from a minute obviously which is higher than you normally can set an animation all the way up to an hour if you wanted to so it's a nice visual way of showing students perhaps or people in a conference exactly how much the time is going by without them being obsessed with looking at the digits it's a visual indication uh, which I think can uh, can work well in some classes. So I hope you found that useful. If you did, please do consider giving this video a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or comments, do leave them below. I do try to respond to all questions and comments from people. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to this channel already, can I please, please ask you very, very nicely just to click that subscribe button. I would be so grateful. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'll see you in the next video.